Okay, I've removed those four bolts. You can see, let me zoom in here. Okay, I've got the next section of tubing here and added uh, Penetrox to it. Uh, wiped it on with a towel and uh, that's going to be used as a compound between all the aluminum joints, all of the tubing. So there are holes as you can see. I pair them on each um, uh, tube and those will be through bolted with stainless steel hardware. So we simply Place the tube in the hole. Pull out the um, hardware. There's a stainless steel washer, a three and a quarter inch bolt. The trick will be to find the hole on the other side, of course. And uh, another washer and a cap nut. I'm just going to put that on loosely for now because I have to put um, anti seize compound on there as well since these are also stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts. So let's see if we can get the other one through. There it is. Bingo, right through. Put the washer on. And the cap nut. Okay. Okay, I've added the first um, one, two, three, four, five sections which have the cross bolts and uh, added the anti seize compound, the Penetrox, and uh, let's see, let's zoom out there to the end. The focus out there. Here we go. And um, it all went very smoothly. The bolt holes were all exactly where you'd expect them to be. Everything fit and uh, was a really easy assembly. Okay, we're adding some of the uh, additional sections of tubing to the uh, antenna at this point. We've got the first five cross-bolted sections already in place and now we are using the stainless um, clamps and they are um, intended to be used uh, about a quarter to a half an inch from the uh, top of the slotted end and the threaded portion uh, of the clamp is supposed to be located in between the slots on the tube. So, I'll walk over there and tighten that down. Okay. Um, that seems to uh, be tightened down. And uh, now we'll just continue that process with the rest of the sections. Here, let me spin around real quick. This end here, which is also slotted, will receive the insulator and will be where the trap is mounted as well. 
here are the next clamps. Uh, you can see they've got the clamps all in a um, heat sealed bag here. And I've been putting a little uh, anti-seize compound on here too to help uh, lubricate as you do need to uh, torque these down so that the uh, tubing is somewhat secure. So we'll uh, proceed with the next section. Okay, and we'll put our put our band clamp on there. Okay, here we are with all of the element sections added. And uh, I have it supported on the end by a horse. There we go. All the clamps have been tightened and uh, the next thing to add would be the trap. Okay, here we're doing the inside the shop assembly of the trap. There are a few clamps we have to get uh, mounted and first of all they supply you with several of these um, uh, band clamps so uh, we would start out by mounting as it says this strap on top of the um, the clamp okay so we'll take this this clamp then and mount it on the tube where we've made the measurement of 17 inches from the end. And um, we then should be able to snug that up. We'll um, actually just rough assemble it here and when I get out into the field where I have the Penetrox, I'll then um, uh, coat the surface with the Penetrox for um, good uh, elect electrical connection. So, let me just uh, tighten that up ever so Approximately in the same plane as the other uh, brackets here. Now the next uh, thing we do is to add the studded clamps, these uh, band clamps that have the studs on them, um, to the brackets here by the uh, coil. So I'll go ahead and proceed with that. And simply here, we're going to use a star washer. flat washer, a split ring, and a nut. Then we'll add the third band clamp up here and we'll be ready. Um, it will be assembled to the point where we can take it out and uh, uh, be ready to mount it on the antenna. Okay, we're out here in the uh, at the antenna site again and I've got the trap uh, fairly much ready to go so we'll <clears throat> uh, mount that trap on the um, elements, tighten it down just a little bit and then we'll give you a look at uh, pretty much that'll be the finished antenna. So um, away we go. Okay here we have the uh, trap installed and um, the instructions say that the clamp should be open uh, these three clamps should be open as you for easy fitting over the tube. It's rather difficult I found to close those clamps up again and get them to start um, to feed them into the screw. So um, the thing that worked for me better is to actually have these clamps not attached. 
to the little brackets here, but to have these bar clamps uh, alone, the studded uh, ring clamps alone without the trap attached. And then uh, once you get these uh, ring clamps started on the tube, then it's fairly easy to attach the screws where the and, and the trap, you know, attach that little bar to the, the trap. So that worked best for me, um, and uh, you might uh, want to consider that as a possibility when you put your antenna together. But everything's tight, everything's been uh, coated with uh, uh, Penetrox, and we're all ready to raise the antenna. So we'll move the uh, camera back and crank it up and see what it looks like. Okay, the um, tower's assembled. I'm back at the winch. We're going to raise it up and see what it looks like. Now, I need to install these four bolts that will hold it together. Okay, we've got uh, the antenna. My first um, inclination was, oh, what's wrong? But uh, actually, there's nothing wrong. The holes don't line up perfectly because the weight of the antenna has changed the position of this uh, insulator mass mounted piece and uh, however it's easily adjusted for by loosening these uh, saddle clamps and then just lowering the uh, this top plate down just a tad while the whole antenna is supported only by the strap so I'm only off by about a quarter of an inch or less and I'll be able to make that up quite easily by um, adjusting the position of this top plate on the mast so it uh, really is not an issue after all and everything went up in the air all is good well here it is all finished and uh, it seems to be standing straight you can see the trap and all the way up to the top.